Conceptual photography has been pioneered with the name of Dimanmana. He has presented his craft, his art, in lots of different places throughout India and across and abroad as well. He has also done a tremendous job in photography, representing his artwork in painting and lots of art and craft in different sections and different societies of India. Today, we have Divan Manna with us and it's my privilege and profound uh, honor to have him uh, in, on, my, on my panel, on my board. Hello, sir. Good morning. Hello. Sir, uh, as you are, you are a pioneer of uh, photography and art and craft in India, you have done a lot of work when it comes to a series of alienation in 1980s. I have I've seen a lot of your body work, what, what you have done in the past. And uh, so what do you think, is this uh, concept of alienation still works in India or abroad as well? Mm. Uh, some people say that I am a pioneer of conceptual photography in India. Conceptual so, photography. But, but coming to your point, nobody is a pioneer. Things have been happening for a long, long time. It's only now the nature people give you and you accept it. But that's fine, but as long as it, uh, it's not really uh, that way attached to my that I am the only one. It's not the case. There are a lot of people who are doing good work, so we should all appreciate all of them. Anyway, so when you come to alienation, alienation is ongoing uh, phenomena. You know, the human beings are uh, made in such a manner, their body chemistry or biology, as we all know, like thousands of years of uh, our development, our progress has not really made us uh, uh, understand or kind of come to the terms that how to live in harmony with each other, how to live in peace. People have been killing each other thousands of years ago. Not only this, but other aspects of human personality are such in which there are so many things happening at the same time, so many worries, so many you know, other responsibilities that one is not really able to cope with all the things one is you know, given the responsibility for. That's why uh, those situations arise in which one feels alienated, which is, which is I wouldn't say fair, which is there. We have to accept it to compete in the world or, or not rich enough or not really uh, deep enough. Yeah. It is. Yeah. It has been there. It is now, even now. So. Those people did appreciate, but they were not really so well educated in the sense to uh, appreciate in a manner we actually now understand appreciation. Yeah. Oh, Mikhail, the way they would nod their head, they would say, suppose you say, thank you, sir. Yeah. You know, there's somebody, an elderly lady, and you can say, Joda Rai Beta. You know? yes, so that's their way of saying thank you. Or, yeah. uh, so appreciation has been there. Yeah. Only modes have changed. So younger generation, of course, is more uh, well versed these things, this, this language and how to express themselves. Yeah. They are more articulate. At the same time, there is more education. Yeah. There is more access to all the you know things which are happening around the world. So young, younger generation is not as appreciative as I would, would expect. Uh, but that's an ongoing phenomenon. We yes, have to sir. keep working hard towards that to first give them information, make them aware of things, then expect from them. True, true. Um, sir, as you uh, as you have also worked with movies in films, uh, you have also done a lot of work in acting as well. So there has been a paradigm shift in your career that you came from, uh, you went uh, in films and then you came to, on digital platform and you showcased your craft, you showcased your paintings, uh, plus your photography as well. So, so that sh can you please brief our audience about that shift? Why did you shift from films where you were getting so much of, um, so much of uh, fame and interesting things to uh, ponder upon? So, what, what are the, what was the shift in your life? Can you please explain a little bit? Uh, I think probably uh, you, your information uh, is not correct. I did not work in films. I worked for television sometime. At a very smaller scale, so I was not really famous. Actually, uh, I checked you uh, on uh, on Google, uh, so no, there the, it was mentioned things, films. Uh, uh, film, that those were documentary films or TV serials, no? Okay. Those kind. Of, those days, that was the only thing which was happening. Nowadays, there are so many soap operas, everything okay. you know, Netflix, etc., etc., et is available. So that time, there was only Doordarshan. So okay. Doordarshan, I did work for some time at the, as an actor, but uh, not famous at all. So the, the reason for shift, it was actually not my main 
uh, kind of um, say forte uh, okay. discipline of my creativity i was primarily an artist okay. and uh, then photographer so that is what has been i've been doing regularly in between i did that as well but i realized that i'm not a good actor okay. so so that's the reason